what is going on my guys today i have a very important video to show you i'm showing you how to safely escape a bench press in the event that you get stuck because i get it life happens and you need to be able, you push yourself sometimes you're alone i've been working out alone for a decade you got to have a backup plan for when stuff goes eerie so uh it's not it's this coming up coming set i do two reps i get stuck on the third what you want to do to safely escape the bench when you can't complete that rep, lower it safely to your chest. Get the bar away from your neck so it doesn't kill you. Your chest can support more weight than your neck can. Lower the bar to your chest and roll it towards your waistline. That is away from your neck. From there, you can either get help or sit up. If you choose to sit up, you can sit up with the weight on your lap. You can then try to stand up. It's almost like a hip thrust. Stand up and get the weight on the ground and then you're safe. If you can't, Roll it to your waist and at least it's not on your neck and get help. This is how you safely escape a bench. Here it is in action. It happens a little fast. On the third rep, I can't do it. Roll the weight to your waist. I can sit up. You can get help if you need. I should have waited to stand up. I did not. That's why I slipped. Otherwise, sit on the edge of the bench, get your bearings, and then stand up with the bar. This is how you safely escape a failed bench. Stand up, put the bar back. You are safer for it, guys. Hey, oh, I was able to find this video. It's from a different angle, so I hope you enjoy this shot, guys. But this is the move I'm talking about. L lighter weight, I believe, whatever. Uh, let's see. This one. Can't complete this rep. Roll the weight down. Now you can sit up. I got my bearing, got my feet straight, and I can stand up. I didn't fall this time. I took a second. And from there, you can, you can decide how you want to put it back. But be safe. You see it now.